In this video, I'm going to tell you the primary components that are involved in an Oracle database and instance. We referred earlier that the database is a bunch of files which are present in the storage and the instance is made up of two components one is called as the SGA and a bunch of processes SGA stands for system global area sometimes it is also called as a shared global area because this place is shared by all users who connect to the database so this is my SGA a set of processes and the database so let me now list the important components of all these let's start with the database so database as I told you is a bunch of files and we have to begin with data files this is the place where all the data resides. It could be system metadata or user data that is put in. Then we have what is called as control files. Control file basically has information about what is the name of the database, what are the other files that are part of it, meaning where are the data files, and the other file which I'm going to talk about reader log files that is the information that is kept inside control files at a high level then we have read log files as the name suggests it's like a log file as in when you make changes to your data it is logged and kept in the read log we will look at the structure of these files as we proceed. As of now, just remember there are three primary files that make up a database. Data files, control files and reader log files. Apart from this, we also have what is called as a parameter file and a password file which are used to start it up. So when we say there is a parameter file, this parameter file is used to actually create the instance. When we start a database, the instance is created and the components in the instances are created based on the parameter configuration that you have. In other words, this is otherwise called as a P file or an SP file. I will tell you the details about these two at a later point in time right now just know that there is something called as a parameter file which could either be a p file or a sp file p file is parameter file sp file is server parameter file we'll come into the details as we go ahead <coughs> coming to now the instance first we will look at the sga the primary components of the sga are we have what is called as a shared pool we have something called as the buffer cache then we have what is called as a read log buffer then optionally you could also have large pool java pool and there are other components like streams pool and others we will not go into that Primarily five major memory allocations shared pool buffer cache read log buffer large pool Java pool So what is the purpose of these? Shared pool can be construed as the place where all the executables are available or if I have to say All the library of your PL SQL code that you might write and the SQL that you execute are kept here plus it also has a cache of the data dictionary. 
So these two can be set as library cache and data dictionary cache. That's what makes up a shared pool. The buffer cache contains whatever data you query upon, any SQL that you run on your database will need to bring the data up. So from your data files, the data is brought into the buffer cache where the processing happens. Read a log buffer. Whenever you make a change to your data, entries are made in the read a log buffer. Large pool and Java pool are components which are used for certain specific things. We will not get into the details now. I will talk about them later. So the primary components are shared pool. Shared pool is made up of library cache and dictionary cache. Library cache contains all your PL SQL code and your SQL executables. Data dictionary cache has the system metadata. Buffer cache contains the data from your data files. Read a log buffer as and when you make changes in your data log entries are made here now let's get into the next piece which is about processes we have what is called as smon pmon db writer checkpoint and log writer five very important processes there are many more processes which we will get introduced to as we go into those specific functionality. But at a high level, these are the five important processes. To make it very simple, whenever you make changes to the data, remember the memory is only temporary. If you shut down, it is going to go away. So the DB writer is going to write down what is called as a dirty buffer. Now, what is the meaning of a dirty buffer? Any block that is read into the buffer cache and changed is a dirty buffer. And it is the re responsibility of DB writer to write it back to the data files. Then log writer. As in when you make changes in your buffer cache, log entries are made. Log writer's responsibility is to write it into the read log file. Then we have smon and pmon. smon is system monitor, which is generally coming in of help in case of a recovery. Now we will talk about what is recovery later on. pmon is process monitor, which basically monitors all the processes, whether they are working fine. And it will take care if in case of any process failure, if the instance is going to crash, it's going to keep track of that. The last process here is checkpoint. Checkpoint ensures synchronization of your read log and data files. In other words, writing the data buffer cache and read log at the same time so that all changes that are rare in the memory are synchronized into the files. Now, we will look at each individual process as we go into further videos. Just to summarize what we have discussed here or what I have talked about here, database has three types of files, data files, control files, and read log files. Data files contains all the data. Control file contains the structure of the database in terms of where the files are located. Read log files contains a log of all changes that you have made in your database. Shared pool is one of the primary components of your instance in your SGA, which is made up of library cache, which contains your executables, PL SQL or SQL. Dictionary cache, which has the metadata used to process queries. Buffer cache contains Data from your data files which you want to process as a user when you write a SQL, it needs to process data which is brought in here. Read log buffer, as and when you make changes to your data, log is made here. And we saw how the DB writer is responsible to write back to the data files, log writer is responsible to write back to the read log files. Now in the next video, I will go through an example of a SQL statement, how it gets connected and how it processes your request.